The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. What's up guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Had Ragnar's Powers. This is part 5, so that said, let's get into this, shall we? Izuku awakened to his new trump card, that being the Blaze Blue. If any of you guys know, the Blaze Blue is basically Ragnar's most powerful weapon and the most powerful ability that the Azure Grimoire can do. It's mostly, it has the power to amplify and increase the power of Ragnar's, of Ragnar's Darkness and Soul Leader Drive. It can even also change and warp, warp reality around it, but mostly just around Ragnar himself. But other than that, it's just an amplifier, and that's it. At any rate, Ra Izuku learned this with the help of One For All, and Soul Eater becoming one. And Izuku has been training with this, seeing on how powerful he can get by using so, by using Blaze, the Blaze Blue more often. However, the more he does, the more he gets exhausted and tired. Not only that, it's also a one-off anyway. He can only use it once a day. Other than that, he can't use it anymore. So he decided to make it a last resort. And All Might tells him that it's a smart idea. That a power like that is way too much. Especially even for a high school student. As Izuku basically just laughs it off. And says, thank you All Might. I really appreciate you coming out here for me to test this out. As All Might saying, anytime. You are my successor after all. It's best if I help you as much as I can. As the two split, Izuku... Remembered that tomorrow he needed to go and see his little sister Saya and tell her the good news That he's going to be going to UA next month Soon after he reminds himself that he had to go to his music to his favorite music store and pick up new guitar strings for his acoustic guitar That's one of the strings actually broke And he had some money left over so he decided to go there when he was heading there he runs into no, who else? Kyoka Jiro. And surprise to see her. As Kyoka says, Hey, Midoriya. I'm glad to see you again. How are you doing? As he says, Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. Just came here to browse or come to get anything new. As she says, Just browsing. I need a place to relax. I'm kind of stressing out a little bit. As Izuku asked, Why are you stressing out? She soon tells him that she entered the entrance exam for UA, that she wants to become a hero. As he's saying, really? Well, that's a coincidence. I plan on going to UA as well, but I'm already in UA due to, rec due to recommendation after all. As she's saying, really? Huh. I should have expected that, actually. As Izuku says, what? Why you say that? She tells him, well, you kind of look like the hero nerd type after all. As he says, uh, sir, okay, you're pretty right. As she begins laughing, the, du the two got to know each other and Izuku wanted to ask her why she wanted to be a hero, but just bothered not to at all, to respect her boundaries until he got to know her a lot more. As Izuku's saying that he, ne he just needs to come out here and get some guitar strings and needs to head back home. As Jiro says, okay, and actually thanks, because she feeling less anxious, and whatever goes, she's okay going to UA or not. Yeah, as Izuki's saying, trust me, somebody like you, I feel like you would be great at UA, trust me. As Jiro's saying, thanks Midoriya, I hope to see you then. As the two split ways, Izuku getting his guitar strings and heading back home. The next day, Izuku left school and head straight for the hospital, seeing that Saya is still there to go and see his, his little sister. 
He only got to see her from time to time. Reason being, he being busy and always trying to find a way to control his quirk a lot more easier. However, seeing his little sister, when, when he goes and sees Saya, she always lights up, seeing, being able to see her big brother once more. Izuku opens the door and sees a green-haired girl with bright green eyes as she says, Brother, I'm glad to see you back to see me again. As he says, yeah, I'm glad to see you too. I hope you're doing okay. And you doing well? They still treat you fine? As Hizuku keeps bombarding her with question after question. As she says that she's doing okay. That, she do that he doesn't need to worry too much. All she's just glad is to see him. And that's it. As Izuku began telling her everything what's been happening lately with him and also that he got accepted into UA due to recommendation. And she begins asking, how did that happen? Soon after, Izuku just says that due to him just being cool and awesome and all that, as she realized, you're lying. I can tell when you're lying. As Izuku's saying, well, I met a hero that's being a teacher there. He saw my potential and so he recommended me. And that's how. And keeping a secret that it's All Might, and mostly due to him being his successor. So, he, Saya takes it and just realizes that her brother has always been cool. Even with the quirk that drains people's energy, she always knew that he would be a great hero. And as Izuki saying, thanks little sister, I really appreciate it. Soon, a couple hours go by and Izuki decides to leave the hospital, and he hopes to see Saya again. In the, in the next couple of weeks or so. As he also tell, told her that Jin's also came back and be surprised when he sees him. As she says, I doubt he's gonna see me, but if he does, I do look forward to it. As he says, yeah, I'm pretty sure he will. He even had to drag his fake blonde hair now to, br to bring him to see you. As she says, he has blonde hair now? As, yeah, be surprised. Soon after, Izuku leaves and says, take care, Saya. And she says the same thing to Izuku. With a couple, couple days go by, and both Izuku and Jin are ready to go to UA together. As Inko worries about both of them, wondering if they're going to be doing okay, if they got everything as usual, as they both complain a little bit that their mother is nagging over them a little bit. As Izuki's saying that it's proper way of a mother, so can't be ex has to be expected. Soon after, the two leave, and they make it to UA as soon as possible. As both brothers make it into make it to a large door with the with saying one A, and that being their classroom, Izuku is still a little bit annoyed that his younger brother is going to be in the same class as him, and hopes that he doesn't have to bail him out from time to time. Because the dude has a bit of a temper and is a bit of a smart ass from time as well. But they both enter the classroom as they see both as they see, well, Ida complaining to Bakugo about him putting his feet up on the de on his desk, telling him to remove his feet at once. As Bakugo keeps annoying him and saying, Oh, did you have a stick up your old school before? As Ida introduces himself, saying what school he went to, with Bakugo saying, Oh, you went to Some? I guess you guess you think you're better than me. I'm gonna have a fun ripping a, a new asshole out of you. As Ida feels shocked at being threatened by Bakugo. As Izuku saying, Great, I am stuck with this idiot. But Izuku getting annoyed, but realized maybe this is the perfect chance to patch things up with go as he enters the room soon after Ida also comes to Izuku but and Jin as Jin saying oh you're that annoying kid that I remember at, during the entrance ceremony Ida also says and you're that obnoxious brat that has no manners I am surprised to see somebody your age even being in a school in a class like this as everyone t pay attention to both Jin and Izuku as they began wondering on who both of them are. Soon after, Ochiko soon enters the picture and says, 
Hey, I remember you. You're the guy that I met at the entrance. So you are in this class soon after. Oh, hey, I remember you. You're that brun you're that cute brunette girl. Oh, uh, Chaco Uraka, am I right? As she, he's, as she begins blushing, saying, yeah, and you're, as he says, oh, crap. I don't think I remember introducing myself. If I didn't, it's Izuku Midoriya. This is my annoying younger brother, Jin Midoriya. It's a pleasure to meet you. Right, Jin? As he says, yes, brother. It's a pleasure. Soon after, she remembers Jin that and wants to say thank you for helping me during entrance exam. As he says, wait, you helped her out? With what? As he said, as Jin begins telling Izuku on how he destroyed the zero point robot instantly, easily, and helped out Urak and say Uraka. As, as Izuku saying, wow, that's surprising coming from you of all people. Did not expect that. As Jin says, well, it's what you would do. After all, you are my one and true hero, brother. After all. As Izuku feeling a little bit blush at hearing this from his younger brother, but just says, Huh, guess I was a good influence on you. Soon after, Izuku noticed that Jiro is in his classroom and is actually surprised and gave her a little wave. As she noticed, she waves back a little bit. After that, he noticed that Aizawa was behind them sensing his presence as he says okay you've been behind us for quite a bit it's been pretty annoying when you haven't said anything soon after both Ida, Jin, and Ochiko soon saw saw Aizawa in his sleeping bag saying 22 seconds it took you that long for all of you to finally shut up and not only that you noticed behind me for quite a bit and yet you said nothing care to explain as he says no one would be that creepy unless you unless you weren't part of this class soon after saying that you're a pretty sharp kid at any rate i'm your homeroom teacher and i want you all to wear this coming out of his sleeping bag and he pulls out a ua track uniform and soon after he tells everyone to head out to the field there he tells him that I want you all to use your quirks in this test, as Ochiko feels like we're going to miss the entrance ceremony. Don't we need to be there? As Aizawa tells, tells them all that. S stuff like that doesn't matter. If you all want to be pro heroes, you need to start, er, start now. In this, I want you all to test on how strong you all really are. Soon after, Aizawa gives a ball to Jin, saying, You, Midoriya. You got the highest score during the entrance exam. So, tell me what your farthest throw without using your quirk was. As Jin says, at least 25 meters if I recall. Can't really say for sure. Didn't really do stuff like that back in the US. As Aizawa says, okay then, let me see how far you can throw the ball with your quirk. As Jin says, don't mind if I do. And don't be and don't be surprised when your jaws drop. As everyone in the class feels like he's pretty full of himself. Just because he's younger than us doesn't mean he's better than us, right? Yeah. I mean, come on. And soon after, Hizuki saying, "You have no idea what Jin is really capable of. Trust me. When he's serious, he's like a monster." Soon after, a a block of ice soon appears in front of Hizuki in front of Jin, and that in the form of a cross. Soon after, Shoto sees this and says, he has an ice quirk, just like mine. There, they see a small, they see something inside of the, so inside of the block of ice. It looks like that of a sword. Soon after, Jin grabs the sword within the ice, and the, co and the ice column breaks. As he says, this is my quirk. My ice, the fr the freezing sword, Yukiyana sa. Is everyone surprised seeing that his quirk can manifest a sword just like that and pure ice? Jin throws the ball in the air while sheathing his sword at the same time, and then creates a giant a giant bow and arrow from the from the from his sword and the ice as well, and then shooting, saying Arctic arrow. 
shooting the air, shooting the frozen t the frozen arrow at the ball, launching it in the air. As the ball hit throat is sent at least 750 meters in the air. As everyone surprised seeing this, and Jen sheaths his sword once more, saying, "Surprised," as Isa was saying, <laughs> "Arrogance," but but has the skill to back it up. Aizawa soon tells, I want you all to use your full power in this. Everyone gets a little bit excited that they can use their quirks in this, especially Mina and Kaminari, and a girl with a squirrel tail as well. As Aizawa says, oh, so you're all excited, huh? Okay then. If anyone who has the lowest points, I will expel. Got it? As he's... As everyone gets shocked, and even Izuku saying, ah, damn it, why of all times things, as he's saying, as everyone gets complaining, even Ochiko saying, but we all worked hard to get into school. You can't expel us on the first day, as Aizawa tells them, that he can run his class any way he wants, and do anything he wants as well. Think things in this world are not fair. Natural disasters, power-hungry villains, all of that is not fair. As a hero, you have to try your best and stop all these unfairness. You have to go beyond plus ultra style. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. And I hope and also subscribe and like my video, which helps on my channel a lot. Really appreciate it. At any rate, this is Leon Mookie. Signing out. Later.